Hey everybody, this is Julio of Eche de Porros Productions and today we're going to be showing you how to make some simple mashed taters. So, mashed potatoes are definitely not a complex dish. All you're going to need to make some awesome mashed potatoes are some potatoes. Here we chose some medium russet potatoes, some butter, and some salt. To go a little extra, you can use some heavy cream to add to the overall creaminess of the end product. But for basics, you're just gonna need potatoes, butter, and salt, and that's it. All right, so to get things started, we're gonna cut these into thirds, cut those in half, and from there, you could go ahead and throw them in your pot and get them boiling. But as I said, the smaller you cut them, the faster they cook. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these again in half. And chunks like that should be good to go. So again, we're gonna go thirds, half, and half. Cut them in quarter fourths, if that makes sense. Or third quarters. Some shit like that. All right, now that you got your potatoes cut up, we're going to get them over to the stove top and get the water ready for them to get boiling. We got our pot filled with some water already. What you're gonna do before you get the potatoes in there is you're gonna take your salt and you're just gonna salt this bitch up. What you wanna do is get this water to basically resemble seawater. You want it to get that very salty taste because as the potatoes are boiling in it, they're gonna start absorbing that salt and then once you get the potatoes out and mashed, you're not gonna need to add extra salt at the end. Once these are done, they should have the perfect, quote unquote, amount of seasoning. So you're gonna get your salt and you're just gonna get it in there. Give it a nice stir. You didn't break that chocolate. All right, once you got your water salted, we're gonna get our potatoes. You're gonna wanna make sure your potatoes are topped off. So we're gonna actually put a little more water in here. So once you got all of that, you're going to put your lid on, put your flame on high or medium or whatever you want to get your potatoes cooked. I put it on high because that's a lot of potatoes and we need that cooking as quick as possible. So you're going to let it come to a boil and you're going to let it simmer until those potatoes are nice and tender, until you can get one and stick a knife or a fork through it super easily, just like butter. So let's just let that sit and now we wait. All right, so it's been about 30, 40 minutes. These potatoes have been boiling. Let's check them out. So first things first, what I did after I put these things to boil is I put a couple bay leaves in there just because that's gonna help enhance the flavor. Bay leaf makes things taste awesome and smell even better. Cause we taste not only with our mouths, but we also taste with our eyes and our nose. So to check that these things are nice and tender, you're gonna take a potato, just get a fork, and if it goes in like butter and breaks apart, it's nice and tender, we're ready to get these off the heat. Now that you got your potatoes out of the water and into your bowl, we're gonna go ahead and just mash them down. So just get your masher, your ricer, whatever you got, and just have at it. All right. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> all right, now that you've gone and mashed all those big pieces into nice smaller pieces, it doesn't look like a typical mashed potato yet, but don't worry, we're still getting there. Now it's time to add all that butter in. Here we got about two sticks of butter. We're gonna see how that looks after we incorporate them in. Uh, we might add more and we still got our heavy cream on the side if we need its assistance. We'll just put some butter in. We're gonna take our spoon thingy and we're just gonna mix it around. The residual heat should melt those butter pieces down and it's gonna give us a nice silky smooth mashed tater. And just for reference, you can skin your potatoes before this, but trying to skin a whole bunch of potatoes takes forever. So we do have a buttload of potatoes here. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna use our heavy cream. So just pour that in there. This is probably about a cup, half a cup 
I used a lot for a clam chowder the other day, which if you haven't seen us make clam chowder, the link is up above. So you're gonna put that in. Oh, and get that nice squishy sound. This is coming together to look like mashed taters. Look at that, mashed tater consistency. We're probably just gonna get a bit more butter into this and then we should be done. Now that you got your heavy cream and your butter all incorporated into there, now it's taking mashed potato form. So last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some pepper and we should be good to go. And since this is a buttload of mashed potatoes, you're gonna wanna add a good amount of pepper. So, do this. We got our mashed taters, which looks like ice cream, but if you didn't know, if you're watching an ice cream commercial, they're actually using mashed potatoes for, in the place of vanilla ice cream. So that's why it looks so perfect. But anyways, let's give it a try. That, them some good taters. <laughs> it's nice, it has creamy, and... <laughs> Creamy! <laughs> it's nice, it has a creamy texture. Perfect side dish to, to some barbecue, to steak, put a biscuit on the side, get some chicken tenders, whatever suits your fancy. Super simple recipe, super simple instruction. Just gonna take a little arm muscle to cut those potatoes and to mash them, but really in, let's say, an hour and a half, because those potatoes can take forever to boil sometimes, you have some awesome mashed potatoes. So anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hope you had a good 4th of July and happy birthday to me next week. So hit that subscribe button. For his Pe birthday. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>